The internal investigation involving the off-duty Milwaukee police officer charged with homicide could be finished by the end of this month. Our Amy DuPont joining us live now outside City Hall, where the case has moved from the Fire and Police Commission back to the Milwaukee Police Department. Staff, the Fire and Police Commission took over that internal investigation back in May, then unexpectedly handed it back over to MPD this week. The acting chief says it is time to move that case forward. While the district attorney moves forward with the criminal case against Officer Michael Mattioli, his peers are now investigating whether he violated the department's code of conduct. The 32-year-old is charged with the April death of Joel Acevedo in the off-duty officer's home. Mattioli has been placed on paid suspension, drawing criticism from the victim's family and members of the public. In May, the Fire and Police Commission took over MPD's internal investigation because of what they described as concerns with department leadership. But earlier this week... No, I wasn't thrown off by it. ...handed the investigation back to MPD and acting chief Michael Brunson. Happy is, is not the correct word. It's something that uh, he's our member of our department. So I feel that uh, as far as doing an internal investigation, that's something that we should do. Brunson took over the department in August after the FPC demoted Chief Alfonso Morales to the rank of captain. Morales retired and has since filed a claim against the city. The FPC announced Thursday it plans to hire Morales' permanent replacement in December. In the meantime, Brunson will lead the department and now the investigation into one of his own. We continue with the investigation that we started at that point in time and move forward and then complete it and then obviously it'll go through our review process. Acting Chief Brunson told us he expects to find what he described as a resolution to this matter by the end of the month. Mattioli, meanwhile, is free on bond. He returns to court for an arraignment next week. We are live outside of City Hall. Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News. We'll follow up at the end of the month. Amy, thank you.